Hey everyone, in this Fortnite creative how to add chests and ammo video, I'm going to show you exactly that. So for this, it's a little bit confusing. I've got two options for you. One is a chest and ammo gallery where you can have pre-built chests and another one is a custom chest, which we'll get to at the end. So to access this down the bottom left hand side of your Fortnite creative options, access the phone. So for me, that's triangle. And then on the left hand side, you see it says press up to find contents. If I do that, I come to the content area and what you're looking for under devices is is this chest and ammo gallery. So if you're having difficulty finding it, move on the left-hand side to devices. You can change the sort to A to Z uh, by the left stick button. So you see that, so I'm pressing on top of my left stick button if you're on the uh, PlayStation or Xbox and you're looking for that chest and ammo gallery. Now you can either place this now or you can equip it so you have quick access to it later. So if I press equip, it then says, well, what button do you want to access this to in your fast slots here? So if I say, for example, square, then I've got access to that, no problem. So this basically gives us a big old set of um, sort of options for our chests and uh, we can see all of the different types of chests and ammo that we can add to our scenes. So we'll have a little look at that and I'll show you how this works. Your other option is to place it now. So if you hold down the square, button it will basically be automatically applied and you don't need to have it in your hot slots so this works exactly the same way and just to prove it I'll just hit uh, circle to get rid of it and then I'll access it the other way with the um, triangle hot slots so I'm holding press triangle to access the phone L2 and then the square and I've got exactly the same thing here so what you have here are all of the types of chests that you can use in the game now a couple of things here, so if you uh, have them all up in the air here, on the left hand side drops on will mean that they drop straight to the floor here. So in this particular map that I've got you can see it's all very bumpy, but it doesn't really matter, it's just going to make them easier to find. So if I did that, let's just do that, you can see they all apply to the floor. So if I press a circle, I'll now get rid of this and then we can see all of these different chest types that we've got and you can have a little test of this and see what's in each chest when you're accessing the game or playing the game but basically the more impressive the chest the better the stuff that you're going to get in it so a standard chest is not going to give you as cool a stuff as you've got here now if you want to place these in your scene you've got a couple of options if you're going to use lots of them you're going to copy one of these so let's say i like this chest r2 to copy it on the left hand side if it's a different button for you to show on the left hand side of your screen and then you can move it to wherever you want to apply this and then paste it so r2 and that will drop it to the floor there now if you want your chest floating you can turn drops off uh, on the left hand side if i press triangle to off uh, that will keep it floating in the sky there like we see there another thing that you may want to do is you can also change the size of this so on the left hand side you see it says resize hold circle and if i hold that now I've got these resize options and I can grow it by holding R1 or shrink it with L1 or whatever buttons show on the left hand side. You can also change the way that works in terms of the scale but I'm just showing you can make different size chests that way. So that's all cool. Um, let's have a little look at the other things that we've got here. Okay so if we want to put any of these in the hot slots what we do is we go up to them like this okay select it so i've got one selected there so let me just uh, get rid of that i'm just going to delete that one entirely so we select it and then if you hold down l2 or whatever button it shows down the bottom left hand side and then hold the button that you want to apply it to that slot so if i hold down x you can see it's now applied to the x one and then when i'm over here if i hold down that and press x i will get one of those uh, ready to drop here and then I've got the drops on so I can just drop it there like so. Uh, or the other option I can do is just copy it like so, uh, R2, paste it over there. Um, or if you need to pick it up, you can select it like so um, and then cut it with L2. Sorry, cut it like this. Uh, and then I can move this wherever I want it. I can rotate it with R1, L1, etc. And then drop them wherever I want. So if you want to see what's in each of these chests, that's possible. So if you press your, uh, I don't know what it is, the little menu button to the right of your touchpad and then choose start game, you will drop into the game and you can have a little look just what's in those chests just to get familiar with them. Uh, so if we go down like so, you can see those chests are all sitting where we place them. And we just go up to them and search and you can see what's in each so to get an idea of what ones you may want in your 
uh, sort of area. Now the last thing we need to do is learn how to add a custom chest, which is what I'm gonna do just to finish off, but you get the idea here, there are all of those. So if you wanna do that, so we can go back to the hub or we can respawn. I'm just gonna choose end game, uh, and then we can return to the island with the triangle button. And now we're back in edit mode. Uh, one of the things you may want to speed up is uh, to have a player spawner on the ground so you don't have to keep dropping in like this. So we're going to talk about now how we add a custom chest with whatever stuff you want to put into it. So for that, you uh, access the content. So make sure your phone's activated like this with a triangle, press up on the here. Uh, and then on the, the way this works is on the content that we've got here. Uh, I've got on the left hand side, there's all my weapons. So you've got the different sorting ways. You can go by default, A to Z, Z to A, whatever way you want to do it. I always get confused with Z, whether it's say Z or Z, I have different people watch my channel, some from America, some from UK. But if you want to add any of these to your own chest, what you do is move over to it here. And then down the bottom in the middle, it says add to chest. So if I just press uh, the square button for that, and then if I look here, the chest now has this one thing in it. So we can go to other things and add them as well. So we could go for this striker AR, for example, and this. And uh, then we could also think about maybe some ammo. So I'm just adding those as well. And the shield potion, and one of these. And if we look at the chest, that's what it's got in it. So we've got seven items at the minute. I'm not sure if there is a limit to it. So we'll just try adding a couple more things and see what it does. Well, we've got 10 there, so I think you can just keep going. And then when you're ready to create the chest, if you move over to the chest, move to the right, you've got these two options, create a chest or create a llama. So either one, so holding down will create a llama or just pressing X will create a chest. So we'll do that. The other thing you can do here is if you mess any of this up, you can use the reset button, uh, which would be square to reset it or just um, hold that down to reset it or just press square to remove one thing. But if we go for create a chest, we press X. You can hear the chest has been created. If we come out, there it is. So that chest we can now move around in the scene. Um, but if we actually, what I'll do is I'll just grab it. So I'll cut it and just make sure it is definitely the chest that we placed. We'll drop it here. Uh, and then if we try starting the game, what we should find is that that has those items in. Just check. I think it was that chest over there. No search away. And there you go. That's all the stuff that we added in it. And that is ready to go. Um, so hopefully that helped you out. If it did, give us a thumbs up, please. That's much appreciated. Any comments, welcome. If you need more help with the game, do let me know with what. I'll do my best to help in a future video. Thanks for watching.